Welcome to best combat arts video you tricky bastards. This video is all about combat arts and which ones are the best from vast selection and why. Took a long time to test them all properly because the method I've used to decide which ones are the best is repeating boss fight until I've tested every combat art on one boss. Same method was applied on around 6 different bosses towards the end of the game and everything was tested on New Game Plus. There are many combat arts to choose from, so I have decided to make two categories. Best one that costs spirit emblems and best one that doesn't cost any spirit emblems. It is quite an important distinction because if you are wasting emblems on combat arts then prosthetic tools won't be used and prosthetic tools for the most part are better than combat arts. Most combat arts can find use somewhere, but to be crowned as best in their category they need to be good in almost every scenario. For example, I like a lot praying strikes exorcism to build boss posture quickly but against bosses that have extremely high posture it is pointless because damage is low so the only thing that you would use it for is to do damage to posture which would not be an option anymore because it would take far too long to get to a finishing blow. However in some fights it is best combat art you could hope for. It is also very good versus final boss. Same goes for some other combat arts that cost spirit emblems like Dragon Flash and Shadowfall. They are great while you have emblems, but pointless afterwards since they leave you exposed for far too long and lose effectiveness completely. Enemies will counter them and then you are fucked. First let's cover best combat art that does not cost emblems. Combat arts that do not cost emblems are widely used because next to them you can use prosthetics and that is extremely beneficial. Best combat art in this category is definitely double Ichimonji. It does decent damage to vitality and posture and what is most important it recovers your own posture. I cannot state enough how important that is to keep you in the game without posture being broken. As soon as your posture is broken enemies will attack for the most part and do significant amount of damage. But wait that's not all, it also completely stops enemies in their tracks if hit with it, in most cases. You couldn't ask for more really from one combat art. The only downside is that its startup can leave you open, so it cannot be used during exchanges but as soon as enemies steal or leave themselves exposed. This is when double Ichimonji is used. Honorable mention in this category that can be used as well against most bosses is Nightjar slash Reversal. It does small amount of damage but it makes you hard to hit while being on the offensive. Going in and out safely is why this combat art is so great. Going in also triggers enemy attack, so by quickly going out they will miss and leave themselves open for another jump in to punish them. Basically you can spam the bloody thing or use it tactically to cover a distance quickly or just to get out quickly after attacking the enemy. Only downside is that some enemies will catch you when going out sometimes. Depends on the type of attack they perform and also weapon length. Now for the best combat art that costs spirit emblems to use. Only ones even worth mentioning are from Mushin Tree. Wasting emblems on any other is pointless. Unfortunately it takes a long time to get to them. Two most important factors to consider for this category. Does it justify spending emblems on them and not prosthetics? And also how good are they when you run out of emblems? Choice here is quite easy. Mortal Blade and Empowered Mortal Blade is simply the best combat art in the game. With emblems it does highest damage out of any other combat art, it has increased range and it staggers enemies. Unfortunately 2 hit combo costs 6 emblems and it needs to be acquired over and over again in each subsequent playthrough, so you never start with it. 
but when you eventually get it, it makes the rest of the game easier. This combat art is the best also, because when you run out of emblems, it is still quite powerful. Range is lost and it does not stagger enemies as much as before, but high damage remains. Might be a bit lower than before, but it is still significant. Most powerful combat art in the game, however you look at it. Honorable mention here would be Spiral Cloud Passage. It is good in most scenarios and especially good against human opponents. Full combo costs 3 emblems and with that you do long combo that puts enemies on back foot not being able to act. It does not do much vitality damage but it fills up posture fast due to number of attacks being thrown at the enemy. Emblems increase range but this is still a very good move without the emblems. Only problem is that it is a long combo that leaves you vulnerable during the last part and some of the bosses will take advantage of them. So these are my conclusions after extensive testing. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you all for watching and see you soon.